Energy of a photon can be given by this equation E equals HF. It was given by Professor Max Planck and here H is Planck's constant which is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and F is the frequency of the photon. So now let's take an example to find the energy of a red photon. The red photon has a frequency of 4.3 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. And according to the equation, we just have to multiply the frequency with the Planck's constant. And when we do so, we get the value as 2.849 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. But now let's take a look at the wider picture. Later, Einstein proved that E equals mc square, where m is the mass of the body and c is the speed of light. So now, if we equate both of these equations, as both of these are equations for the energy, if we equate both of these, we get mc square equals hf. So now what we can do is we can get the value of m by transposing c square to the other side. And when we do so, we get the value as m equals hf upon c squared. So now if we consider our example of the red photon that we took earlier, we can just substitute the values of hf and c squared. We can just write hf equals 2.849 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules and c squared equals 3 into 10 to the power 8 squared. And when we do the calculations, we get the final answer as 3.167 into 10 to the power minus 36 kilograms. Congratulations, you have just calculated mass of a photon. Boom! That's wrong! Photons are massless. So we cannot calculate its mass. But now you must be thinking, if photons do not have mass, how do we get their momentum? We know that they have momentum. But how do we get there without mass? Because the formula that we know for the momentum is P equals mv. So now let me tell you, when we take the formula P equals mv, we must take into consideration that this formula is only applicable for the objects with a rest mass and strictly not for the objects running at near speed light. So for photons, the correct momentum is given by the special relativity, which states E squared equals P squared C squared plus M squared into C to the power 4. But in the case of light, our M squared into C to the power 4 becomes zero because the mass of a photon is zero. So what we are left with is E squared equals P squared C squared and when we transpose the values we get P squared equals E squared upon C squared and we can further simplify it into P equals E by C. So now we know why light has no mass yet it has momentum and the special relativity formula is not only applicable on light but it's applicable on anything and everything. So there's a quote from Einstein, order is for idiots genius can handle chaos. So thank you for watching, enjoy learning.